We are joined this evening by Toledo mayoral candidate Opal Covey, and as we were talking a little bit earlier, you feel very confident about next Tuesday. Yes, I do. Yes, uh, I'm going to win. You're going to win. Yes, and uh, why? Why so much confidence? Because God told me in 2000 I was going to be mayor, and the third time charms. Okay. And uh, it's he, your third third time running for mayor. Yes, and um, you know the last two times, if people noticed, I didn't do very much because I knew I wasn't going to win those two times. But this time I went all out okay. with the banners, the cars, the flyers, the, the, uh, si uh, the yard signs. And by the way, I got a few yard signs left and some bumper stickers uh, that people can pick up. Okay. They, they can also watch me on a documentary that was just put out on, uh, uh, on, web on the website. And it's called uh, Opal um, Mayor. Uh, opalformayor.com. Okay, all right. so you can Take look that, that up. up. Okay, <laughs> let's get to a couple of policy issues. Uh, the police force. Is there a number you look at you'd like to see staffing-wise for our police department? I don't really think that we can put a real number on it. I think what we should look for is proficiency, and I really feel like that there's a lot that has to be redone with the police department. Uh, to get more efficient help. What specifically needs to be changed? Uh, well, we, we need to uh, uh, get there on time, you know, to, to have uh, better performance on calls. And I know uh, from my experience, you know, uh, there was a, a one time when I reported car thefts and they never got there. And there's many people that they have never arrived. I even had a robbery, and the robbery was over after they got there. Now, we need to correct that. And, of course, if that means more policemen, then fine. We'll get them. But I think that we should look for quality police force. Okay. Uh, on the issue of job creation, what kind of things do you think can be done to entice not only businesses to come here, but entice businesses to stay here if they are here in the city? All right. Now, I have to say, like I've said both other times, the amusement park has to be put in. If it's not put in, Toledo will never prosper and reach its potential that it's supposed to. Okay, but aside from an amusement uh -huh. park, I mean, mm -hmm. the businesses that are here, maybe manufacturing, anything like that, what specifically would you do for them? I would try to give them some tax breaks. Uh, whatever I could that they would request, if we could do it, then fine, because I really be, uh, believe in being fair uh, with businesses and doing what what is necessary or what can be done from City Hall in order to keep them here and uh, keep that money rolling in. See, that's been our failure for many years. There was a no-care attitude whether they stayed or whether they went. Okay. And I care if they stay, and I would help them in every way that I possibly could. And if I've heard that a business was going out, I would certainly, you know, try to help it and stop it or do whatever I could do. Okay. And very quickly, we don't have a lot of time left, but the mayor has discretionary spending under $10,000. Would you change any kind of policies when it comes to that spending? Because millions of dollars in that kind of discretionary money is spent. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, it's not going to happen with me unless it's a, be a dire necessity. I don't think that a shower is a dire necessity. I think that we can do that at home. But I think if it was a dire necessity, uh, it would be okay. But I kind of think that we should lower the amount to just uh, uh, maybe 5000 or something 5, like 000. that. Okay, and everything else, uh, 5000 and up would then need council approval. Yes, so you'd be okay would. with putting it down to 5000 I would be okay. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Opal Kobe, best of luck to you mm -hmm. next Tuesday. Thank you very much for your You're time. Welcome. And that is tonight's Talk Back.